Hello everyone, welcome to DHS Informatics. Today in this video, I will take you through one of the latest IEEE project on mobile cloud computing or Android that is lightweight secure data sharing scheme for mobile cloud computing. Before moving on, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and click on bell icon to get a more updates. So our project comes under the domain mobile cloud computing. So mobile cloud computing is the combination of cloud computing and mobile computing to bring rich computational resources to mobile users, network operators as well as cloud computing providers. The ultimate goal of MCC is to enable execution of rich mobile applications on a large amount of mobile devices uh, with rich user experience. So uh, basically MCC provides business opportunities for mobile network operators as well as cloud providers. More uh, comprehensively, MCC can be defined as a rich mobile computing technology that leverages unified elastic resources of varied clouds and network technologies towards uh, unrestricted functionality, uh, storage and mobility to serve a multitude of mobile devices anywhere, anytime through the channel of Ethernet or Internet regardless of heterogeneous environments and platforms based on the pay, and, uh, uh, pay as you use principle. So these are some of the technologies uh, that we have used in our project that is web-based app de development, mobile com uh, cloud computing or Android app development, lightweight uh, authentication, crypto system and MVC architecture. So uh, with the development of cloud computing and the popularity of smart mobile devices, people are gradually getting to a new era of data sharing model in which uh, the data is stored on the cloud and the mobile uh, devices are used to store or retrieve the data from the cloud. Typically mobile devices only have uh, limited storage space and computing power. Nowadays, uh, various mobile applications have been widely used. Uh, in these applications, people uh, that, uh, that we call as uh, data owners can upload their photos or videos and other files to the cloud and uh, share this data with the other people and that people we call it as a uh, data users. They, uh, so, CSPs also provide the data management function functionality for data owners. Since personal data files are sensitive, data owners are allowed to choose whether to make their data files public or can only be shared with the specific data users. So uh, basically, so first when uh, people upload their data files onto the cloud, they are leaving the data uh, in a place where it is uh, uh, out of the out of their control, and the cloud service provider may uh, spy on user data for its commercial interests uh, or other reasons. Second is people have to send password to each data user if they only want to share the encrypted data with certain users, which is very cumbersome. So to address these kinds of problems, we came up with lightweight secure data sharing scheme for mobile cloud computing. So this is the system design. Uh, here, uh, the data uh, what the data user does is he will first request for uh, registration so with the trusted authority so the trusted authority will send back the public key to the data owner so next the data owner will send the encryption request to the intermediate uh, result of uh, encryption so it will send back the intermediate result to the data owner now the data owner whatever the important uh, file may be uh, uh, maybe there he will send it to the uh, cloud uh, that is the data fi uh, data file will be sent to the cloud in a cipher text format so now the data user will send the request file access request to the cloud uh, and uh, this uh, request will be accepted by the data owner itself so uh, the cloud will send back the data file cipher text once the uh, data owner has accepted to send it to the data user after that the data user will uh, uh, send the request or update request to the trusted authority and the attribute uh, keys are uh, sent back as a response to the data user. After that, the data user will ask for description request and uh, also the res response will be given back by the server to the data user. This is how it works. 
so in our project uh, we are using some of the modules that is user registration authentication module and transaction module thank you for uh, watching this video if you like this uh, concept please do click on like button and subscribe our channel to get more updates on latest project and domains for any project related queries comment below if any other information related to internship projects mail us or contact on these numbers thank you